Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Uh, okay, uh, I'll be with you right now. Let's wait one minute, okay? Just for some people that are logging in right now. Okay, hello everyone. All right, let's get started. Ready? Okay, let's do attendance. Uh, Ada Susana? Ada? Are you here? Todavía no? Okay. Ana Maria? Present. Okay. Carla Aviana? Present, teacher. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Claudia Maricela Solano. Claudia, are you there? No, no la veo todavía, no. Eh, Débora Raquel. Present. Uh, Elvin Martinez. Present. Thank you. Eh, Fátima López. Present. Present. Fernando Ernesto. Present. José Antonio Cubías. Present. José Saúl González. Present. Carla Yané Amaya. Present. Luis Umaña. Luis Present. Umaña. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz. Present. Miriam Carolina. Present. René Alfonso Madrid. René, ahí está, ok. Rina Álvarez. Rina Álvarez. Sabrina Mabel Latín. Sabrina Latín. Sandra Elizabeth ¿Qué? Osorto. Sábado tipo 9, de entre 9 y 10. Podemos, podemos. Micrófono, Carlos, micrófono. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto. Present. William Alexander. Present. Ok, uh, oyentes. Isela Liliana. Present. Karina Beatriz. Here. Jocelyn uh, Imelda, Imelda, ¿va? Imelda. Present. Ok. Uh, Alguien que no me respondió fue Ada Susena. No sé si está. Ada Susena. Eh, Claudia Maricel Solano. Present. Ok. Eh, Rina Álvarez. Mm -hmm. And Sabrina Latín. Ok. ¿Todos ya? ¿Ya dijeron present? Ok. All right, very good. Let's go to the... Let's go to the warm-up okay, that I have for you. I want you to look over here. Eh, micrófono, por favor. Microphones. Okay, very good. All right, guys. So, aquí tengo mis notas, pero igual, esto es lo que yo uso para practicar con ustedes. ¿sí? All right. So, ayer hicimos, uh, remember, we use four and the period of time. For example, I worked in Diana for seven years. You can also use since plus a specific point in the past. I worked, in, I worked there since 2005. You can also use from and to. I stayed there from January to November. Then is to talk about another event. I worked in the company until 2011, then I quit. 
until I worked in Panama until my project was over. Okay. Very good. Questions? All right. Let's answer these. I have five questions for you here. Five questions for you here. And let me make this bigger. Let's say my grand. Okay. What can you use here? Number one, I worked blank, Simon, blank, five years. How can you complete this sentence? Uh, I worked in Simon for five years. I worked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I worked for Simon for I, I worked in Simon for five years. Mm -hmm. Correct, right? So aquí están usando la preposición in, right? I worked in. Simon for what about five years? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. See? Uh, Question? Can, can I use at? I work yes, at Simon. Yes, you can use at also. Mm -hmm. You can use at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number two, I have worked blank Grupo Q. Blank 2010. I bought it. I bought it months. Mm -hmm. In? No, at. Uh -huh. I have worked in or at. It can be in or at. I have worked at Group of Coup. Since. Since. In 2010. Since. 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 Since 2010. Okay. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Look, there's there's another option, right? Um, you can say this. Look, also, I worked at Grupo Q, right? Until 2010. You can use that too, okay? But look, I I I took away half. See, le quité half. Aquí en el segundo ejemplo. Yeah. Le quité half porque ya no trabajo allí, ¿sí? Ya no es present. Okay. So, I have worked at Grupo Q since 2010, okay? Or you can say, I worked at Grupo Q until 2010, okay? Number three, I stayed there blank January 10. From? Okay. Mm -hmm. Correct. Two. Mm -hmm. Correct. Two. From two. Correct. From two. Number four. I worked in Alba Company. Okay. Uh huh. 2010. Uh, well, no, hay otra que encaja, ¿sí? Encaje mejor. Porque hay otra oración que uh, sí. Until. I worked in, at Alba Company until, correct. Until 2010. <laughs> then. 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 Correct. <laughs> then I started working. <laughs> at or mm. in. At at or in, correct. You can use at or you can use in. Correct. Okay. Number four. I oh, know, number five, sorry. I worked in Canada. Blank, my project was over. Until. Until. I worked in Canada until my project was over. Okay, very good. Questions? Okay, all right, very good. Let's do an exercise with four and cents. Okay, number one, I've had a headache blank last night. Which one do I use? Since. 
Since last night, correct. Mm -hmm. Since last night. Okay, perfect. I had a headache since last night. Right, desde. He tenido un dolor de cabeza desde ayer en la noche. Teacher, esta contracción del inicio es de have. I've had. Okay. I have. Okay. Thanks. Okay, very good. Next, the phone rang blank a few minutes. Four. 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 Correct. Number three, I have been working for like 10 hours. 14 hours. We have been here blank six o'clock. Since six, six o'clock. Mm. It has been raining blank Monday. Mm. Uh, Sans. Since. since Monday. Since, since Monday. Okay. The cat has slept for 14 hours. For 10 hours. Okay. Very good. Let me permíteme. Solo quiero subirlas. I will be in Paris blank two weeks. For two weeks. For two weeks. I haven't eaten. Since yesterday. Yesterday. Mm. I study English blank an hour a day. For an hour a day. For an hour a day. Okay. Teacher. Uh huh. Uh, can you repeat the correct pronunciation for sin? Sense. Sent. Okay, thank you. Sent. Thank you. Sense. 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 Thank you. Okay, very good questions about for and sense, the difference. Okay, very good. Okay, now this is the activity that we're going to do. It's gonna be a, a speaking activity uh, using what we learned yesterday and uh, using the prepositions to talk about time. All right, this is John Jefferson. Si se llama, JJ, John Jefferson's work experience, okay? So this is like, uh, like his uh, resume, right? This is like his curriculum, see? Mr. John Jefferson, okay? All right, we're going to go ahead and explain it. Okay? Like if you were him speaking, okay? Lo pueden explicar en tercera persona hablando de él o lo pueden decir como si ustedes fueran él, ¿sí? Okay, look, this is his experience. I start first with the job position. So I have here the job position I have the date, so you guys can use from and to, a company, and the job description, see? So you can speak in the past, right? Why in the past? Obviously, yeah, eso ya pasó, 2001, 2005. Uh, then again, position, the company, the city where it's located, and the job description, okay? Again, another position, the company, the location, the job description, right? You can use from and to. Okay? También pueden usar, ¿cuál otras palabras pueden usar? What else can you use? You can use for, from, to. Uh, you can use until, then, right? Since, okay? You can use this, right? Lo que vimos ayer, lo que acabamos de practicar. Okay? So you can explain it to him. Uh, you, can, you can use it and explain it. 
in first person, so pueden hablar en primera persona como si ustedes fueran él. First person or uh, second person. ¿Sí? Hablando de he. He. Okay? We're going to be speaking in the past. Okay? In the past. Um, solamente que cuando lleguen al último, ya es el present. So, I have four uh, positions. Ahí están las cuatro posiciones. Right? Okay. Questions? You're going to explain it. Okay. You're going to do it in groups. I want you to try, right? I'm going to send you that that uh, the picture in WhatsApp. Questions? No. All right. Let's go to groups. Hello guys, alguien tiene la música ahí, por favor, cierre su micrófono. Okay. Very good, guys. Let's go ahead and do the activity. Did you see the picture in WhatsApp? Yes. 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 Okay. All right. Each one, each one can take one minute to explain it. Okay. You, you try to okay. explain as much as you can from there. Okay. So la fecha van de el que está arriba sería el más antiguo hacia el que está abajo el más recién. All right, traten de reducir un poquito el sonido ya que somos aquí cinco, right? Si todos hay, hay mucho sonido, hay mucho eh, ruido atrás, nos va a di dificultar aquí. Okay, so Miguel, you're going to go first. Okay, look at, the, okay. Look at the, the picture that I put there. Okay, so what can you explain? ¿Cómo lo vas a hacer? ¿Lo vas a hacer en primera persona como si tú fueras él o en, en segunda persona? ¿Cómo lo vas a hacer? ¿He o 
Lo vas a hacer en primera persona. No me escuché, teacher, sorry. Se, se, se quedó trabado. Ok. Ok. Eh, te preguntaba si lo vas a hacer en primera persona o si lo vas a, a reportar como si, tú, como si tú estuvieras hablando de él. Lo puedes hacer como quieras. Hello, hello. El Pacífico, as a risk inspector, I had to do home and vehicle inspections. And then, uh, from 2018, I worked for as a Suiza. Uh, as a user supervisor, uh, my function, my function principal was to be able, able, able to pay our clients all their claims generate um, by. Company Grand Textiles Location Costa Rica. Job description Direct and oversee all managers in Central America. Create legal contracts for. Okay, time out, time out, time out, time <laughs> out. Okay. Díganlo como si ustedes estuvieran describiendo el trabajo. Por ejemplo, right? I work in regional insurance. I work as a regional insurance analyst. Okay. From 2005 to 2011, I worked for Grupo Q in okay. Guatemala. See, ¿Sí? en vez que regional insurance analyst, 2005 2011, company Grupo Q, Guatemala City. No, así no, sino que ustedes lo están es, eh, explicando, sí, ustedes lo están presentando como si estuviera en una entrevista. ¿Sí? Lo pueden hacer en primera persona. O, lo, o pueden hablar de él. Traten de usar from, to, then, since. Ok. So, uh, marketing manager to some. For example, he worked in uh, company como más frase, como explicarlo, no como leído. Sino que nosotros, ¿verdad? In the position of marketing manager. In the... O... 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 Todas esas frases, como, como decir, él trabajó en la posición tal, él, él estuvo trabajando en la compañía tal. La In the company Didelco from El Salvador, um, he job description. He work of management of sales department. He create the create sales strategies for the company. 
he helped increase sales renew. Okay. So that was my experience. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, good okay. Evening. Go ahead and explain it. Uh, you can do it in first person, talking uh, as if you were him, or you can talk about him. Cuando es pasado, verdad que en tercera persona no no lleva ese, verdad? Solo sí. No. Has he worked? Is, he worked. Okay, he, sería he worked mm -hmm. as marketing manager from 2001 to 2005 at Didelco El Salvador. Uh, uh, he, he was in charge of uh, management of sales department and create sales stra strategies for the company. Created, also, created, uh, created, created. 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 Mm -hmm. No, pero si ya, eso era una consulta también, si yo le dije, yo, yo le dije que estu, eh, él estaba a cargo de no le puedo decir ya en presente estaba a cargo de crear esto, esto y esto. Mm -hmm. No. Past. Tiene que ser siempre. Past. Todo el pasado. Ah. Right. Aunque estuvieras hablando en primera persona. I okay. managed the sales department. I created sales strategies for the company. I helped increase sales revenue. Aunque estuviera hablando en primera persona. Everything is in the past. Ah, pero si yo le digo, pero, pero si inicialmente yo le digo, yo estaba a cargo de, de. I was in charge of. De, yo estaba a cargo de. I was. I was in charge of, y le digo ya. Ajá. Uh -huh. Por eso, o sea, el was, yo puedo después hablar eh, como que estuviera hablando en presente, porque ya le dije que estaba a cargo de. Mm, de crear es que, eh, estrategias de ventas. Es que la, la, la oración, uh -huh. I was in charge, es, está en el pasado. Sí. La único que está sí, usando claro. tu, tu, tu verbo was en el pasado. El, el, el verbo que, que va después es simplemente en el presente, ¿sí? Va en el presente. Ajá. Pero no, pero está, está correcto eso. Sí, sí, está correcto. Ajá, sí. es que esa era mi duda porque yo siento, por lo menos por, por mi ver, siento más fácil, es como en el español que yo le digo, estaba a cargo de esto, de esto, de esto y esto. Si ya no le digo que estaba a cargo de él, le tengo que ir diciendo. Yo hacía esto, pero ya han pasado. Yo hacía lo otro, pero ya han pasado. Ok. Como sea, a mí, como, como tú, como tú uh -huh. pienses que, es, que, que te sale mejor hablar, pero recuerda, siempre los verbos en el pasado, eso no lo vas a poder esquiviar, right? Ah, Por no, example, claro. Es... Yo lo puse en el presente. Management of sales department. Como tú lo dijeras en el pasado? Uh, I, was, I was in charge of management of sales department. Okay. Create sales strategies for the company. In the past? Uh, ajá, no, en ese caso, si, si ponemos, si, si, si es aparte, si tengo que decir create. Uh, ¿Cómo sería? Create it. Create it. Con idea created. termina, ¿verdad? Con idea created. sería. Mm -hmm. Create it, sales strategies for the company. Mm -hmm. And help. Help. To, no, help. No, la, la T, 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 helped. Ah, help, help. No, helped. Helped. Ahí está la T. Helped. helped. Increase sales re revenue. Ok. Sí, sí, ya, ya, ya creo que sí, ya le, ya le entendí. Quiero ver. Ok. Then. Ajá, te, cada vez que cambiamos entre, digamos que entre parte de, de lo que uno ha trabajado en el currículum, el den es como lo que, hace, que dice lo siguiente. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Then uh, I, work, I worked at regional insurance analysts from 2005 to 2011 at Group of Q in, Guatemala, in Guatemala, Guatemala City. Uh, I was in charge of create insurance risk management strategies. Uh, also, I was in charge of develop Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Another that's, person? That's all I think. 
Ya todas lo hicimos. Ya o, quiere que lea, ajá, o quiere que leamos el, el, el ejercicio. Ah, yes. Sí, yes. podemos leerlo para practicar. Ajá. Ok, ok. Wait, 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 Tama. Eh, no lo lean así nomás. No digan, por ejemplo, Marketing Manager, 2001-2005. Company, Ditelco, El Salvador. No, 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 así no. So, díganlo en primera persona. Ok. Ok. So, ¿Quién lo quiere intentar? Karina, go. You can ok. Do it. Um, ok, girls. I want to explain my working experience. Um, I started working at, um, as a marketing manager. Mm -hmm. 2001 to 2005. From, the, from, from 2000. From 2005. And uh -huh. at the no, 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 Salvador. No, no, no. From 2001 to 2005. From okay. two. From two. From 2001 to 2005. Correct. Uh, for the Delco El Salvador. And I was, uh, and I was, or oh, I did the activities, uh, management sales department, mm -hmm. create sales strategies for the company, help mm -hmm. increase the sale revenue. And okay. then. Past, Karina. I helped increase sales revenue. I was in charge of, mm -hmm, you can say, okay. I, I was, in charge of management of the mm -hmm. sales department, I created, que en el pasado, ¿sí? I created uh, okay. sales I created strategies for the sales. company. Okay. I create sales strategy for the company and help increase the sales revenue. Repeat, say created. Creative. The, ese es el pasado, the create. Okay, create, present, so. past, Created. Creative. Okay. Then? And then I started working in regional insurance analyst. As a regional insurance analyst? Uh, 2000, uh, from 2005 to 2011 mm -hmm. at the company Group Poku, Guatemala City as a um, create insurance risk, risk management strategies, develop risk assessment tool for business and help with the financial reports. Help. Okay. All right, pongamos todo eso en el pasado. I created, I created insurance I created. risk management strategies. Mm -hmm. I developed, mm -hmm. I, I developed risk assessment tool for business and help with the finan help with the financial report. Helped. helped with the T. Helped. Helped. With the finance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Financial report. I helped with the financial report. Okay. Um sigo yo. Okay. And then I started working in quality assessment control manager from 2005 to 2011 at Exclusive Textiles El Salvador. I, as a, how do you pronounce this word? Oversee. Oversee the quality assurance process. Mm -hmm. Verified quality for exports. Solo que hay que ponerlo en el pasado, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is the past of C? So. So. I oversaw. I oversaw the quality assurance process. What is the past of verify? Verified. Uh, verified. verified. Quality for export. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, let's let's review that, right? 
And I want to uh, tell you some of the things that we can improve. So, ¿cómo podemos mejorar acá? Look, remember to put everything in the past. Primeramente, right? Aquí yo tengo algunos verbos. Management, create, help. Ese ya está en el pasado, ¿sí? So, tengo que ponerlos en el pasado. Create, en el pasado. Tengo, ustedes tienen que ponerlo en el pasado. Develop and helped. Eh, ya sea, está en el pasado. So, create. ¿Cuál es el pasado de create? Created. Develop. Developed. Okay. Uh, and then you have oversee. Oversee significa que yo velo, velaba por esta área, ¿sí? Yo estaba encargado de velar por esta área. But we need to put it in the past. What is the past of C? What is the past um, of C? Saw. So. So. so we're going to use the word I oversaw. Okay. Verify. What is the past of verify? Verified. Verified. Okay. So you have to put this in the past. So ese es el primer, eh, el primer tip que les puedo dar. ¿sí? Um, algunos no lo están haciendo. ¿sí? Okay. Uh, for example, direct, directed. Create, created. Okay, so you have to put it in the past, right? Now, another thing that you can use is this, this phrase, right? I worked, I worked as a sales manager. See, ven esa frase? As a sales manager, see? I worked as a sales manager, see? Eso quiere decir yo trabajé como, yo trabajé como un gerente de ventas, see? I worked as a sales manager. So you can use this phrase to describe the title, the position. Okay. Eh, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más podemos hacer? Eh, remember to do it in, in speaking, right? Algunos solo estaban leyendo así. Marketing manager, 2001-2005. Company, de Delco. City, El Salvador. Job description. Solo estaban leyendo los títulos, sí, pero en, un, en una entrevista no lo van a presentar así, sí. Ok. Questions? All right. Uh -uh. Questions? Ok. No. Está, están batallando todos, casi todos con este problema. Look. The past ending verb sounds. Ok. Create. Past. Created, right? So, ayer les di las reglas, ¿sí? Created, okay? Help. What is the past? Help it. No, help, help it. it. No help. existe. Ed. Help. Ed, les dije que no existe. Helped. Help. Helped. 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 Okay? Help. All right? Help. Uh, for example, uh, ¿cuál otro verbo? Verify. Verified. Verified. No, verified. ID. Verified. Verified. No, no es it. Verified. Yeah. D. Okay. So, están batallando bastante con la pronunciación de, esto, de, lo, de, lo, de los verbos en, regulares en el pasado. Sí, todos los verbos que, que terminan en ID. Okay. Están batallando con eso, pero lo vamos a practicar. Yo les voy a dar una lección aquí, ¿ok? So yo les voy a dar un repaso de eso, ¿sí? Pero eh, ahí están batallando ustedes, ¿sí? All right, hagámoslo una vez más. Lo voy a cambiar de grupos, ¿sí? For example, ¿cómo lo presentaría yo? I worked as a marketing manager from 2001 to 2005. I worked for Didelco in El Salvador. Algunos se le olvidaron esa palabra, in, en El Salvador. ¿sí? I managed the sales department. I created sales strategies for the company and I helped increase sales revenue. Okay. Then I worked as a regional insurance analyst from 2005 to, that, to 2011. I worked for Grupo Clu in Guatemala City. I created insurance risk management strategies. I developed risk assessment tools for business and helped with the financial report. After that, 
que significa lo mismo que then. Then I worked as a quality assessment and control manager from 2005 to 2011. O oh, pueden decir eso, esto. I worked as a quality assessment and control manager for five, no, for five, six years, for, for six years, sorry. <laughs> I worked in exclusive textiles in El Salvador. I oversaw the quality and insurance process and I verified quality of the exports. Okay? Me gustaría que lo hagan así. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Um, when I say, for example, um, I was working a marketing manager from to 2001 until to 2005 is correct? Yeah, that's correct too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can use until or to. Until. Right? You say before. Yeah, yeah, you can use it. Okay. Pero se, acordate que until es hasta, right? Hasta. Mm -hmm. Hasta es hasta esto. ¿eh? Está dando a entender como si este evento se terminó. Ah. Okay? Oh. Mm -hmm. But I prefer, it's, I, it's preferred I, to say 2001 to 2005. From 2001 from. to. From 2. From E2. Okay, yes, from 2001 to 2005. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. I got okay. it. Okay, practice this, right? Practicing this. Practice this. Do it in first person. Right? Aunque lo hagan en primera persona o segunda, siempre van a tener que usar los past ending verbs. Okay? But do it in first person. Okay? All right. We're going to do that and let's do it for only five more minutes. I'm going to give you five more minutes. Eh, lo voy a dividir en grupos más pequeños. Okay? And let's do it. Hold on. After that, después de las nueve, le voy a dar una lección de past ending verb sounds. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hagámoslo pues. Okay. Eh, puedes eh, publicar de nuevo la, la, mm -hmm. la imagen, porfa. Yo estoy en tablet, no estoy en compu. Okay. En el chat no tenés el chat. En el chat está. No, ahorita lo veo. Ok, ahorita la estoy viendo. Ok. ¿Quién empieza? Eh, si quieren practiquen ustedes en lo que yo voy a cambiar a la compu para ver la imagen, porque así no la puedo ver. Ok. okay. Mr. John Jefferson's work experience to a partner. Ok, I worked marketing manager for 2001 to to those 2005 in Didelco, El Salvador. Um, I I am in, I was in charge management of site department and created several strategies for the company. I helped increase sale revenue. You, Carla, un, uno cada uno. Okay. Then, regional, then regional instructions analyst, uh, 2005, 2011. 
Grupo Q in Grupo Q from Guatemala City. I worked um, in. I worked in Grupo Q. Uh, I work in Grupo Q from Guatemala City. In in Guatemala City. In, in Guatemala City. Mm -hmm. I am create. I no. Um, I created. Created. I created insurance insurance price manager manager strategy. Uh, develop rich assessment tools for business. I help help with the financial report. Okay, then I worked in quality placement and control manager from 2005 to 2011 for exclusive textiles in El Salvador. I was in charge over so the quality assurance processes. I verified quality for exports. Um, and finally, uh, chief, chief quality control officer in uh, 2011, 2012. Um, from Grand Textiles in Costa Rica. I am direct and oversee our manager in Central America. Oversaw, past? Oversaw. <laughs> Oversaw our managers in Central America. I am create legal contract for the branches in other country. Only, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, ya todos pasaron. No, Claudia se falta, pero usted estaba cambiando de equipo. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Quiero ver. No sé si la repetimos. En lo que esperamos a Claudia, Carla, Janet. Ah, sí, pero hoy comienzo, comienzo yo, pero de abajo. Si quieres. Oh, no, ¿verdad? Pues por fechas. Ajá, eh, comienzo yo, si quieres. Ok. Eh, perdón, perdón. Eh, Claudia eh, estaba esperando ingresar, pero no, no la había visto. Ok. Oh, ahorita ingresa, pero. Ok. Assurance processes. I very verified quality for exports. What is the pronunciation overset in pass? Oversaw. So. Oversaw. So. Oversaw. So. Oversaw. So. Mm -hmm. so. over, over so. over, over so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. We can use I have to in past. For example, I have to create sales strategies for the company. Not have. You have to use had. 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 H A D. H A D. Yes. Mm -hmm. Had the bus. Yes. We can had use. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, you can, you can use had. Mm -hmm. And I had to can see. use was. También was. I yeah. was I was a regional insurance analyst. Isn't yes, right? correct, okay. correct. Okay. Okay. okay Rina, Rina. Rina, Rina, continue. I was chief quality control officer in 2011 at 2020. 
Yeah. I work in Grand Textile from Costa Rica. My job description is direct, direct and oversee or manager in Central America and create and create and create legal contracts for branches in other countries. Comenzamos de nuevo, si quieren. The, 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 the past direct is direct. Yes, direct, direct. 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 Sorry. Direct, sí. direct. And others, your managers in Central America created, created legal contracts for branches in the, in other, in other country. Okay. Allí creo que es director en Obersau. ¿Verdad? Obersau. 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 Es el past and Obersau. 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 Así con O, como con O. Obersau. 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 En this sense, the two uh, words is in past, is okay? What? What? Sorry. And this can uh, um I don't I don't can't, I don't can't see. <laughs> I can't see. Not understanding. No te entendemos. Si no le nos en español no hay problema. <laughs> I, I di direct and over it uh, that that two bird that two bird is in the past. It's okay or only one bird is in the past. No, no, no. Over C the past is oversaw. Oversaw. Oversaw, yes. Oversee is in mm -hmm. verb base. Present. Oversaw is the past. Mm -hmm. It's direct, direct and oversaw. Yeah, direct yeah. and oversaw. Okay. okay, thank you. Hey, nice to meet you. Take care. See you then. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, perfect. All right, let's take attendance and then we're gonna to go to a lesson on the past ED, ED sounds. Okay, let me see. Uh, Claudia, I need your full name. Claudia Maricela Solano Crispin. No, no, en el perfil que tú lo, oh. lo puedes escribir okay. ahí. All <laughs> right, no problem. Okay, very good. Uh, number one, Ada, Ada Susana. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Ana Maria Chacon. Ana Maria. Present. Carla Ivania. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Carlos. Okay. Claudia Maricela Solano. Present. Débora Raquel Soto. Present. Elvin Martínez. Present. Fátima López. Present. Fernando Ernesto. Present. José Antonio Cubías. José Antonio. Present. Okay. José, José Saúl González. Present. Carla Janet Amaya. Present. Luis Umaña. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo. Present. René Alfonso Madrid. Present. Rina Álvarez. Rina. Ahí está. Eh, ok. Sabrina Mabel Latín. Sabrina Latín. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto. Present. William Alexander. Present. Eh, oyentes, Isela. Present. Karina Beatriz. Present. And Jocelyn. 
Rivas? Present. Ok. Very good. ¿Alguien que no haya Present. Me, Carlos Duarte. Ajá. Ok. All right, guys. Micrófonos, please. Thank you. All right. Let's go to a, a presentation that I'm going to give you. Ok. Uh, this is something extra that is... Um, it's, esto no está en el libro, ¿ok? Esto, porque esto es algo que yo he hecho, ¿sí? Para ayudarles a ustedes y a otro grupo que tengo también con esta misma, con este misma eh, dificultad, ¿ok? The past ending verb sounds, ¿ok? Very good. Look, in English we have three different types of sounds for the past ending verbs, ED, ¿ok? Played, D, D. This is a D sound. This is a T sound. Cooked. T, t. Id, waited. Id, 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 id. No es it. No es una T al final, es una D. No es it. Es id, id. Okay? All right. Number one, let's practice. Look, repeat after me. Played. 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 Rained. 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 No, no es rain. Alguien está diciendo rain. No es rain. Es lluvia. Lluvia, la palabra lluvia. Rained. 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 Studied. 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 Tienen que hacer una sonrisa, ¿sí? Look, no sé si pueden ver la cámara para verme a mí. Estoy sonriendo. Si no, nunca les va a sol, salir el sonido si la posición de la lengua, los labios, si todas esas posiciones no están correctas, si la fonética no está correcta, perdón, no les va a salir. Nunca les va a salir el sonido. Pueden estar aquí 10 años, nunca les va a salir el sonido. Okay, so tienen que sonreír. Cooked. 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 Watched. 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 Deténganse al final. Tienen que tener la boca Watched. media abierta y una sonrisa. Cooked. Watched. 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 Okay. Introduced. Si no terminan así, nunca les va a salir. Miren cómo yo termino la palabra cooked. 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 Watched. Watched. Tiene que hacer una T. Tiene que hacer T. Ok. El tercer sonido es id. 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 D. Not a T. D. Id. Id. Ok. Repeat. Waited. 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 Needed. 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 Visited. Needed. Visited. Okay. All right. So look at number one here at the bottom. Exercise B. What sound do you hear? Porque una cosa que tienen que hacer, mire, esto es como eh, mejorar la pronunciación. Número uno. Tiene que conocer la posición de la fonética, es decir, la posición de la boca, los labios, la garganta. Tiene que 
conocer esa posición primero. ¿sí? Nunca le va a salir a no ser que todas esas posiciones están correctas. Todo influye. Los labios, la sonrisa, la lengua, la mandíbula, la, la garganta, el aire. Hasta aún eh, las, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, el sonido que hacemos con la nariz. Bueno, hola, Madre. Hola. Ese sonido, aún eso es parte de la fonética en inglés. ¿sí? Ok. Pero todo eso tiene que estar bien, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes puedan, para que el sonido pueda salir. En este caso, le estoy diciendo que es una sonrisa. Ok. All right, look. Number one. What sound do you hear? D, T, or I, D? Tried. Tried. What sound? D. D. D sound. D. Very good. D, correct. What? What? T. What? T. T sound. Very good. Number three. Needed. Needed. ID. 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 No es ED. No. ID. Number four. Checked. Checked. T. T sound, right? T sound. Checked. Okay. Perdón. Necesito mover esto. Okay. Uh, number five, danced. 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 What sound do you hear? Danced. 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 Number number six, wanted. Wanted. I, I did. I did sound. Okay. Very good. Después de la fonética, el segundo paso es afinar el oído. Sí. Es afinar su oído. Okay. So, ¿cuáles son los tres sonidos? D, t, t, id. D, d, id. D, id. Okay. Una vez más. Una vez más. D, t, t, id. Okay. Yeah. Tienen que hacerlo. Traten de hacer esos sonidos porque si no, nunca le van a salir. Okay. El error más común es pronunciar ed. Yo les dije ayer, ¿verdad? Es pronunciar ed. Walk it. Play it. Wait it. Cook it. No, no podemos pronunciar ed. Eso no existe. No es uno de los tres sonidos. ¿sí? Ok, very good. Voiceless. Le dije la regla número uno. ¿Cuál era? ¿Se acuerdan? ¿Cuál es la regla? Terminaba, si el verbo terminaba en D. No, no es que como termine, sino es eh, si termina en voice, it voiceless. Rule number one. Right? If the base verb ends in voiceless, ¿qué hago entonces? Si termina en voiceless, ¿qué hago? Le agrega. ¿Cuál le agrego? ¿Y No. T. Sí, sí. sí. Por eso están confundidos de las reglas. Por eso. All right. Rule number one. Look. ¿Qué quiere decir voiceless? Voiceless quiere decir solamente el sonido eh, está siendo creado a través del aire solamente. ¿Sí? Háganme un favor, por favor. Cierren los micrófonos, please. Ok. Todos, please. Débora, micrófonos. Ok. Very good. Eh, el pri primero tienen que entender lo que es voice y voiceless. Voice es que solamente termina con aire, ¿sí? El sonido se está haciendo a través del aire, ¿ok? Eh, un, e un ejemplo de un verbo, walk, ¿ok? Or talk, ¿ok? ¿Cómo okay. terminan esos verbos? Aire, air, por ejemplo, walk, k -k -k. es solo aire, talk. Solo aire. Otro. Wash. De lavar. Wash. Solo aire. ¿Sí? Entonces, cuando este verbo se convierte en ed, ¿qué hago? T. Tengo que, tengo que hacer el sonido de T. ¿Ok? Walked. Talked. Washed. Tiene que, son, tiene que terminar así, sonriendo. 
Okay. All right. Very good. SL, that's rule number one. See? Voiceless. Rule number two. Okay. What is rule number two? Okay. If the verb ends in voice, entonces, ¿qué hago? ¿Cuál sonido le pongo? Duh. Duh. Okay. The duh sound. Okay. For example, love. ¿Cómo termina esa palabra en su forma base? Love. Pónganse los dedos aquí en la garganta y van a sentir la vibración. Love. Una V de Víctor. Love. Okay. Another one. Call. Call. Oh. ¿Cómo termina? Con vibración. Okay. Vibración en las cuerdas vocales. So, ¿qué pasa cuando le pongo ED? Loved. Called. Duh. Ah? Okay. Tight. Ok. So, el sonido es al final, the. Ok. Very good. So, ahí están las dos primeras. ¿sí? Pero, ¿qué pasa si termina en T y D? Esa sería rule number three. Ok. Rule number three. If the base verb. And in T or D, entonces, ¿qué hago? Id. Tengo que optar por el tercer. No, no es ID, es ID. Está, está, pronun está pronunciando la, la letra en español en vez de en inglés. ID. I. ID. ¿Ok? Pero no, se, no, no, no suena así, sino como suena. Id. Id. It. Okay. For example, waited. Waited. Visited. Visited. Needed. Needed. Eid. Eid. Okay. Tienen que hacer esos tres sonidos, si no, siempre van a decir work it, look it. Y, y eso no es correcto. La pronunciación no es correcta. Así. Okay. All right. Rule number one, T, repeat after me. Cierren los micrófonos, quiero que pronuncien ahí, pero sí, pronuncien, ¿sí? Yo, tenemos que cerrar los micrófonos por el sonido, pero repeat. Watched, watched, looked, looked, talked, talked, finished, finished, typed, typed. Snatched, snatched, mixed, mixed, washed, washed. T -t -t. Todo el día, el sonido siempre va a ser el mismo. T. Okay. Number two. D. D. Called. 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 Lo voy a decir en una forma más natural. Called. Called. Loved, loved, enjoyed, enjoyed, copied, copied, traveled, traveled, refused, refused. Okay. Number three. It, visited, wanted, needed, arrested, collected. Hated, hated, de la palabra odiar, el verbo odiar, hated, flooded, painted. No están pronunciando algunos, los veo aquí, <ríe> ya se están durmiendo, ¿sí? Pero es súper necesario que puedan pronunciar usted. Usted tiene que expresarse ahorita, ¿sí? Si no lo hacen aquí, que le estoy dando la lección, no lo van a hacer cuando están leyendo ustedes. Visited, wanted, needed. Arrested, collected, hated, flooded, painted. Ok, aquí están las reglas, ¿sí? No estoy mintiendo, esa es la regla todo el día. ¿Sí? Ok. Very good. All right. Hagamos un, 
una práctica aquí para que suenen las tres. T, D, I, D. All right. Look, vamos, solo voy a leer la primera. Axed, agreed, accepted. Todas terminan diferente. Axed, agreed, accepted. T, t, d, d, id. Axed, agreed, accepted. Ok. Ahí están los tres sonidos. Ok. ¿Dónde está ed? No existe. Aquí no está en estos sonidos. ¿sí? Ok. Eh, write one, two, seven. Write in a piece of paper. Escriban solamente los números. Del 1 al 7. Solo escriban allí en un papelito. Piece of paper. Write. One through seven. Okay. Okay. All right. So, ustedes van a elegir cuál sonido, ¿sí? Yo voy a decir la palabra, ustedes van a seleccionar el sonido. Okay. Okay, ready? Choose the correct past verb ending sound. Number one, dropped, dropped. Number two, hunted, hunted. Number three, showed, showed. Number four, jailed, jailed. Number five, pronounced, pronounced. Number six, rained. Rained. Number seven. Respected. Respected. Okay. One more time. Correct past verb ending sound. Number one. Dropped. Dropped. Number two. Hunted. Hunted. Number three. Showed. Showed. Number four. Jailed. Jailed. Number five, pronounced, pronounced. Number six, rained, rained. Number seven, respected, respected. Okay, aquí están las palabras. Number one, dropped, dropped. What sound is that? With T. T, T sound, very T. good. Number two, hunted. With ID. 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 Hunted. Number three, showed. With D. 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 Sound. Yeah. Number four, jailed. D. With D. 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 Sound. Number five, pronounced. With D. 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 Number six, rained. With D. 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 Number seven, respected. With ID. 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 Ahí, ahí está. Tienen que afinar, afinar el oído ustedes primero, ¿sí? Primero es la fonética, la posición de todas las la partes del cuerpo, de la cara, ¿sí? La lengua, todo esto. Eso es lo primero. Y después afinen el oído, ¿sí? Ok. All right, very good. Questions? Ok, let me Choose see. the correct past verb. Ese ya lo vimos. All right. Very good. Look at look over here. Okay. I'm going to read this passage. Okay. I'm going to play it. See? ¿Sí? Como lo, lo, lo le, leería yo. Okay. Quiero que ustedes noten que estoy usando T, D, or ID in each verb. Okay. Listen to the paragraph and read it. Yesterday, I was so busy at the office, I worked hard with my team. We developed a new advertising plan. Our meeting lasted about two hours. I remember an advertising plan that worked five years ago, and I suggested we try that again. We needed to get the manager's approval. 
We called him on the office phone. He admitted that the idea seemed good, but he believed we should lower the budget. We, we reported our, mem our numbers to him and talked about the budget for a long time. Finally, he decided to give us the money we wanted. On the way home, I stopped at the mall. I had promised my daughter a new MP3 player for her birthday. At the electronic store, I played songs and listened for quality sound. I decided to buy one at a medium price. When I got home, the kitchen was a mess. At our house, we have agreed to clean up after ourselves. So I asked around to find out who had cooked last. That person turned out to be my son. While he washed the dishes, I sat at the kitchen table and talked to him about his school work. Last year, he tested into an advanced program and I wanted to see how he was doing. He seemed happy with it. He started telling me about his classes and what he learned that day. Okay, number one, worked. What is that? T. 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 Yeah. Developed. T. 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 Lasted. ID. T. Remembered. T. 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 Worked. T. T. Suggested. ID. T. ID. T. ID. Needed. ID. 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 Called. D. 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 Admitted. ID. 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 Seemed. D. 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 Seemed. Yeah. D. Believed. D. 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 Reported. ID. 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 Talked. T. 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 Decided. ID. 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 Wanted. ID. 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 Okay. Stopped. T. T. Stopped. T. 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 Promised. T. 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 Promised. T. 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 Played. D. D. Listened. D. D. Decided. ID. ID. Agreed. ID. ID. No, agreed. 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 Asked. D. Cooked. D. 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 Turned. D. 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 Washed. T. 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 Tested. ID. 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 Advanced. T. T. Advanced. T. Wanted. ID. ID. Seemed. T. Started. ID. 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 And finally, learned. D. 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 Okay, very good. Close your microphone, please. Cierren los micrófonos. Vamos Solo a... tengo una duda. Sí. Arriba está sim con D y abajo con ID. Where? Donde? Yes. Eh. Uh, uh, in the. Ah, uh, sim the card. No. No, it seemed is D. It's okay, D. okay, okay. It's D, D, D. Mm -hmm. Seemed. Okay. Okay. All right, very good. Eh, ahora lo vamos a escuchar y ustedes quiero que noten eso, sí. The, the pronunciation. Okay. All right. Let's do it again. Hold on. Listen to the paragraph and read. Yesterday, I was so busy at the office. I worked hard with my team. We developed a new advertising plan. Our meeting lasted about two hours. I remember an advertising plan that worked five years ago and I suggested we try that again. We needed to get the manager's approval. 
We called him on the office phone. He admitted that the idea seemed good, but he believed we should lower the budget. We, we reported our, mem our numbers to him and talked about the budget for a long time. Finally, he decided to give us the money we wanted. On the way home, I stopped at the mall. I had promised my daughter a new MP3 player for her birthday. At the electronic store, I played songs and listened for quality sound. I decided to buy one at a medium price. When I got home, the kitchen was a mess. At our house, we have agreed to clean up after ourselves. So I asked around to find out who had cooked last. That person turned out to be my son. While he washed the dishes, I sat at the kitchen table and talked to him about his school work. Last year, he tested into an advanced program and I wanted to see how he was doing. He seemed happy with it. He started telling me about his classes and what he learned that day. Okay, very good. So, le, le dejo de eso de tarea. Okay, so you guys can practice that. Okay, uh, practice it. No me lo tienen que mandar, no se lo voy a calificar, no es parte de, del currículum del, del, del curso, ¿sí? Simplemente es algo extra porque no quiero que continúen con esos mismos errores, ¿sí? Si no van a seguir, porque si no los corrigen ahorita, van a llegar avanzado con ese error, ¿ok? So, yo he tomado aquí un tiempo para poder ayudarlos con eso. Eh, yo les puedo mandar ese audio donde yo estoy leyendo y ustedes pueden practicar. Ok. All right. Very good. Thanks, teacher. Question. Sí. <laughs> Perdón, solo que justo eso le iba a pedir si nos ayudaba con los audios de su lectura, porque, eh, por ejemplo, en mi caso, yo les decía a los compañeros que, sinceramente, después de 31 años estoy recibiendo clases de inglés uh -huh. y hay muchas palabras que a mí me cuesta pronunciarlas y, y sin para mí es necesario escuchar la correcta pronunciación para poderlo repetir y aprenderlo. Sí, sí, yo le voy a pasar eso y, y el audio. Okay. Gracias. All right, very good. Okay. All right, let's continue with the book, guys. Let's go to the book. Okay. Let's go to the lesson for today. Right. Okay. Today, uh, we're going to talk about um, giving information, uh, filling out a job application and giving me information in the workplace. Uh, this can also be talking about my work experience. So we're going to talk in the present for some questions and in the past also, okay? Have you applied for a job position recently? What specific information about your work experience can you provide, okay? So, ¿cuáles son algunas preguntas que nos pueden hacer for a, a job application? What are some questions that they can ask? So we should uh, hire you. What, what, oh, why, why should we hire you? Sí, pero antes de eso, solo información así de contacto, contact information. Uh, cell what phone, is some information? Cell phone. Cell phone number. Okay. Address. Your cell phone number. Or your email address. Phone number, email, email okay. Email. All right, uh, what else? Direction. A address. The address. 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 Uh, address. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Birthday. A number ID or. Okay, ID number mm -hmm. or a doing number like. A birthday. We say, we say doing number here, ID number, mm -hmm. birthday, okay. Security. Social security number? Social security. SSN. Social security number. A, a social security number is like the NEAT. Or oh, like here. a DUI. No, mm -hmm. es, como un, es el, el número tributario. ¿sí? Social security number. The dry license. Driver license. Mm -hmm. Driver license. Mm -hmm. Okay. Driver license, okay. Tal, tal vez están aplicando para un trabajo de, de conductor, right? License. Mm -hmm. um, el, okay. El, el número de registro del seguro social o seguro médico. Okay. Social okay. security number. Social security number. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. And work experience, right? They can yeah. ask me about my work experience, right? Cuando estaba, when did you work there? How long were you were you there? All this study. Ah, education history. Education. Okay. Education history or education experience. Okay. Very good. Civil. Very good. <laughs> ah? What else? Civil, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, how there do you, you say go. Estado Civil? Yeah. How do you say Estado Civil in English? Single or married? Marital status. Marital status. Marital status. Mar marital. Marital is not phenomenal. Marital, marital, marital status. Okay, excellent. Very good, excellent. Uh, look at the conversation here. All right, let's read this conversation. Alan and Blanca. Okay, Alan, what is your social security number? It's three four five six three two four five seven eight six five four. Wow, Alan, when were you born? I was born on July first. Where did you work? I worked in Molson. What did you do there? I was the evening manager. When did you work there? From two thousand five to two thousand eleven. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a BBA, um, bachelor's, business bachelor's in arts. Creo que eso lo que significa en inglés. Do you have any chronic medical conditions? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. <laughs> El pobre. Right? El por el estrés. <laughs> okay, very good. So I want you to practice this conversation, right? Um, but I want you to ask only the questions. So identify the questions only, okay? And ask another person the questions. So aquí están las preguntas, right? Only the questions. So I want you to ask your partner the question and I want you guys to answer the questions. Only, only the questions, okay? Let's do this. You can give your information, provide your information as well, okay? Todos tienen el libro. Uh, this is page 15. Page 15. Okay. All right. Let's go to groups really quickly. 10 minutes. Okay, guys, uh, go to the group, please. Only, only practice, Berta. But only the questions. Ask the questions to another person. Teacher, only practice. Sí, pero practiquen las preguntas solamente. Ah, Do you okay. see in the conversation, there's questions, right? Ask only the questions. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, which one is the first? Okay. okay. I'm going to ask you for you, Carla Ivania. Mm -hmm. Okay. You are ready? Yeah. Okay. What is your social security number? Uh, my security social number is five two three one five six. Okay. 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 Well. What is your social security number? Who? Teacher, our information. No, you can you can or, make up other information. But birthday, yes, your information. Birthday, your information. Okay. Um, everything else is good. Okay. 
Okay. Um, Joseph, start. Okay, uh, I, I am Alan. Uh, hey, Alan, come on. What, what did only, you... only ask the question, solo pregunten la pregunta, ¿sí? Ustedes contesten uh -huh. con su propia información. ¿sí? Okay. What did you so? Empiezo yo. What is what is your social security number? ¿Quién va a continuar? Fatima o, o, o Miriam. Hey guys, ¿quién va a responder? ¿Quién va a preguntar? ¿Quién va a responder? Bye. Yo ya pregunté, what is your social security number? Is, is, there is three, four, six, is three, is three, four, five, six, three, two, four, five, seven, eight, six, five, four. Vaya, si, si quieren nos saltamos y después lo revisamos ese. Okay. Um, when were you born? Born. Born. I was born on July 1st. Ok, Lord. Pero la, la pueden hacer más interesante. Háganla con su información. Den su, infor, su, su información. Con la excepción del do it. No den el do it, pues. Si no quieren. Pero, uh, when, when were you born? I was born on March 30. Okay. Next question. Where did you work? I work in Anexa. Okay. Lo invertimos. Lo hacemos otra vez. Yes. What is your social security number? Time out, time out. Den yes. su información, ¿sí? Solo uh -huh. hagan las preguntas y, de, y den su información. Con excepción uh -huh. del DUI, no tienen que dar el DUI. ¿Sí? Okay. O de, den otro número. Okay. Pero lo demás puede ser su información. When were you born? Mm. Where did you work? What did you do there? When did you work there? Okay. 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 Uh -huh. Empecemos entonces. Muy bien. What is your social security number? Is uh, two one five six seven <coughs> nine. Okay. Next, <laughs> William. What is your social security number? Uh, it's uh, through uh three four six six three two five six and zero 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 okay when were you born i was born on september 30. sorry okay uh, where did you work i worked uh in psm Okay. What did you do there? I was uh, assistant administrative. When did you work there? Uh, from. Do you have any chronic medical condition? Yes, I do. I have hypertension. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> Ok, ¿están dando, ¿están dando su información? Por el momento solo lo estamos practicando así, ahorita vamos a cambiar. Ok, ahora pueden dar su información. Okay. Your information. Uh, I don't have any city number. No, whatever. Number. Any, any number. El, mi, poder, el nombre sí puede repetir el mismo, no creo que tenga que dar el. No, oh, el DUI puede. El DUI. El DUI. Vale, el DUI, pues yo me lo puedo a memoria. No, lo... no lo puede. No, en mi caso no. De tanto que lo preguntan, uno se lo aprende. Me le queda de tarea. Eh. Vaya. 
Va, empiezo pues. What is your social security number? It is seven five four three two three one five. Okay. Uh, when were you born? Where were you born? I was born on June twenty nine. Mm -hmm. uh, where did you work? I work. Social security number. Is a zero one five zero four one one zero zero. When were you born? I was born in July. Thanks. Where did you work? I work in Anexa. What did you do there? I am a doctor. And when did you work there? Uh, 2010, uh, no, from 2010 until now. Do you have a university diploma? Yes, I do. I have a doctor in medicine and cirurgy. Do you have any chronic medical condition? No, I don't. Excellent. Good. Thanks. Good job. <laughs> good job. Sounds good. All right. Okay. We're going to go back now to the session. Yes. Okay. What is the search for you to the number? Video one five video Okay, guys, so you you did questions, right? You practiced the questions, okay? All right, we're gonna go to the last activity for today, okay? It's in the book, it's page number 16 in the book. We're going to fill out uh, application for employment. Now, you're going to do it differently, right? It's, this is not your information. This is your classmates' information, see? So you have to ask the question to your classmates, okay? For example, uh, lo pueden hacer así como entrevista, right? So if I want to get the date, uh, bueno, eso lo pueden poner ustedes, date. But name, what is your name? Address, where do you live or? Where do you live? What is? What is your address? What is your address? What is your address? Position? Uh, what is position applicable? What position are you applying for? Apply for. What, what position are you applying for? Okay. What is your phone number? Yeah. Right? What is your phone, phone number? number? What is your phone number? Okay. Uh, Sex, male or female, date of birth. What is your date of birth? What is your date of birth? Social security number. What is your social security number? Driver license. Yes or no? Do you have a driver license? Do you have? Do you have a driver license? Okay. Excellent, very good. Employment history, okay? ¿Cuál pregunta podrías hacer acá for employment history? Employment history? Can you describe me your employment history? Okay, very good. Yes, puede ser así, una pregunta abierta. What was abierta. your last job? Okay, what was, uh, where did you work? Look, Where did you work? Aquí puede, la persona puede dar todos los lugares donde ha trabajado, ¿sí? Because look, 
Where did you work? Donde trabajaste? So where? Es que, where? 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 Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Where? <laughs> where, where? did you work? Where did you work? Where did or, you work? Uh, what? Uh, what did you last work? O tu último trabajo? ¿Cómo se diría? Sí, sí. Si quieres solamente el último, sí. Si quieres que te dé todo en general. Where did you work? ¿Dónde trabajaste? Okay. O más bien, ¿dónde has trabajado? Where did you work? Um, Otra pregunta puede ser esa. Look, where have you worked? ¿Dónde has trabajado? Where have you worked? Um, name of company. What was the name of the company? What was the name of the company? Uh, where or what was the address? Okay. What was your job title or otra forma, hay varias formas. Job title. What was your position? What, is what your was your position? Mm -hmm, correct. What was your position or what was your job title? Mm -hmm. uh, duties. ¿Cómo pueden preguntar eso? Para ver qué es lo que hacía ahí. What did you do? What did you do there? What did you do there? Hay otra forma, sí. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you responsibility jobs? What were? What, what were? ¿Cuáles fueron? What were your, your responsibilities? Job responsibilities. Oh. Where were your job? What were your job responsibilities? Hey, no encuentro eso. Acá está. Ok, good, good. Lo mismo uh, for education, right? You can ask about that. All right, very good, guys. I want you to ask and interview another person, right? Now, solo hagan las preguntas. So, para, ajá, para recibir la respuesta, pero no, no tienen que escribir it. Si estuviéramos presencial, si lo hiciéramos así, sí. Yo en primera, yo, se, yo les diera esta hojita para que ustedes la llenaran. Pero ahorita no estamos así, tomaría mucho tiempo. Ok, so speaking only. Ok, speaking. Now, questions are very important, right? Después quiere que si ustedes se califiquen ustedes mismos. Self assessment. ¿Cómo hice? Lo puedo hacer independientemente con ayuda de otra persona o sin, eh, solamente lo puedo hacer con ayuda, no lo puedo hacer solo. ¿Ok? Se pueden calificar ustedes. Questions. Ok, we have, uh, we have maybe 12 minutes. ¿Ok? We, then we, we have to do attendance. 12 minutes. Uh, voy a mezclar los grupos. Again. Yes, uh, okay. Mm. Teacher, only practice the page. Yeah, ask the questions. Ask the um, questions to another person. I'm going to play the bomb. You have to make the questions. Okay, so, for example, Carlos, tú le puedes preguntar a Carla. Carla, tú le puedes preguntar a José. José, tú le puedes preguntar a Carla. One question. No, toda, la, la hojita. Okay. Las preguntas que están ahí. Okay. Okay, marquen el tiempo okay. para que pasen todos. Eh, tenemos 12 minutos, 12 minutos. Okay. Ah, inicio entonces okay. Carla 
And where where you born, Carla? My born in my born. I was born. Um, my born. It's correct. My born. No. Yes. My was born. born. I was born. Okay. I was born. Um. I was nine. Nine of August. Yeah. Okay. Me pregúntale tú a. Okay. Jose Antonio, where did you work? Nos hubiéramos ido en, 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 en orden, ¿no? No, no es parece. Sí, sí, tienen que ir en orden. Por ejemplo, Carlos, tú le estás preguntando ah. a Carla, right? So, Carlos, tú vas a hacer. Trata de completar esas preguntas que están ahí, ¿sí? What is your name? What is your address? What is your phone number? What is your date okay. of birth? Okay. Ah, okay. Bueno, es esta página, es la okay. otra entonces. Okay. Okay, sorry, uh -huh. sorry. Um... Continúa entonces. What's your ¿Qué? name? ¿Quién está preguntando? Carlos, tú estás preguntando, Carla, entonces termina todas las Carlos preguntas. Carlos, no. sí. Ok. Ok. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cuál es tu My name is Carla Cabrera. ¿Cuál es tu address? My address is um, Pato Montemaría, soy Apango. Ok. ¿Y tu phone number? My phone number is seven two one three five. What is your social security number or ID? My security social number is one two three. ¿Quién es licencia de conducir? Como es no, ella, teacher, como es ella, sería do you have? Do you... No, I don't sería. Do you have? Do you allí, have? Allí, ah, allí, ah, allí ah, no hay el Sí, no. Ah, sí, me. El sujeto sí, es you. Sí, la vez que buscaba. Uh -huh. Ok. Ahí podría continuar este, Carla preguntándole a José lo demás. Employment, employment injury. Y okay. finalizar José conmigo con la pues education. Allocation. Um, uh, José Antonio, where do you work? I was work, work, work in construction, construction Netherlands from 2004. Okay. Um, where is... Puedo preguntarlo la educación, quiero ver. Do you have, do you have university diploma? Yes, I do. I, I have business administration. Okay. Mm. Only, este, teacher, ¿regresamos o, o hasta ahí lo dejamos o preguntamos otras cosas que no estén aquí? No, eh, ya preguntaron todo, ya todos pasaron. No, no, no. 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 Nos quedamos a la... 
No, Delaine, for example, yo aquí pudiera estar hablando con José. José, where did you work? Uh, what was the name of the company? Uh, what was your position in the company? Yeah, I can be there oh. talking. Okay. Uh, Jose Antonio, what is your full name? And you? And, and, and Miriam, what is your date of birth? No. What is your day of birth? Okay. December 26, eh, 100, eh, no, 9. ¿Cuál es? Eh, dígamelo en español. Okay. Es December 26, 1990. Ok, tenemos que, tenemos, que aprender, tenemos que aprender a decir las fechas. ¿sí? Cuando son del mire, cuando, cuando son del mil al dos mil, ¿sí? entonces se dicen en dos y dos. No, one hundred no. Se dice en dos y dos. Dos y dos. Se dicen dos primero y después los otros dos. Dos y dos. Ok. Okay, Isela, what is your day of birth? Um, January 31st, 1991. Okay. Same. The same, yeah, the same year. Okay. Okay, tell me what is your so social security number? My social security number, um, one, two, or nine five six out oh, two five. Mm -hmm. What okay. about you? And my security, my social security number is um, zero six zero one. Yeah, no, two, two, mm -hmm. two thousand, uh, two thousand uh, eleven. I work at the at Cuscatlán Bank mm -hmm. in Torre Cuscatlán. My, uh, my, I work as a auditor, internal auditor, and my responsibility were um, in do uh, auditorias how. Uh, do uh, auditor nothing. auditing i did auditing i did auditing i did auditing i did i did at yo hice see ¿sí? yo uh, hice yes. auditorías i did auditing i did, I did uh, okay auditor uh, audit 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 of process and in in the in the and the policies of the company. And, 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 and only that. Very good. Okay. Education, degree of tenure. And um, okay, I graduate at a public accountant uh, from no at a university, El Salvador University. University, in, El Salvador. University, El Salvador. In, 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 in 2011. Okay. Okay. Sabe, le falta Ada. Y esta, esta sí la tiene que hacer. Do you have any chronic medical condition? <laughs> no, no, I I, no, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, very good, guys. Excellent job. Excellent job. Okay. okay. When you when you want to say uh, yo me gradué como, you can say I graduated as a doctor oh, from as. the university. Okay. 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 Thanks. Uh, 
Ok, very good guys. Um, Algunas preguntas que podíamos hacer de ahí. Teacher, uh -huh. I have a question. Yes. En la parte, en la parte de preguntarle el sexo sería, eh, is the correct says, with which sex do you identify? Sí. Ahora, pues, ahora eh, tal vez sería más correcta esas preguntas. Sí, <laughs> polite. Okay. Yeah. With which sex do you identify? Okay. Mm -hmm. Ok, very good. Uh, cuando quieran decir, yo me, yo me gradué como doctor en tal... I graduated as a doctor from uh, El Salvador University. I graduated as an accountant from University of Okay. All right, let's do attendance quickly, guys. Uh, today, uh, Rina, is Rina here today? Teacher, the list, teacher, mm -hmm. no. Sí, pues sí, vamos a salir. Solo, solo te estoy diciendo que te vas a quedar, si puedes, ¿sí? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Ada Azucena. Present, teacher. Ana María Chacón. Present. Ana María, okay. Eh, Carla Ivania. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Claudia Maricela Sorano. Present. Débora Raquel. Present. Elvin Martínez. Present. Eh, Fátima López. Present. Fernando Ernesto. Present. José Antonio Cubías. Present. Carla Jené Amaya. Present. Oh, eh, ok. Perdón, oh, no me brinqué. José Antonio Cubías y después José Saúl González. Present. Okay. Carla Jené Amaya. Present. Present. Gracias. Eh, Luis Umaña. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz. Present. Miriam Carolina. Present. René Alfonso Madrid. Present. Rina Álvarez. Present. Sabrina Mabel Latín. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto. Present. William Alexander. Present. Eh, Isela Liliana. Present. Karina Beatriz. Karina Beatriz. And Jocelyn Rivas. Present. Okay, very good, guys. Okay, uh, tomorrow, tenemos clase, right? So I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, ya tengo el foro 1, 2, 3. Pueden, pueden contestar. Uh, ahí están los videos 1, 2, 3. Está la tarea 1, 2, 3, ¿sí? Tienen que ya, esta semana, terminen tarea del 1 al 5. Okay. Y así yo puedo ingresar nota el viernes. O el sábado. Tal vez el sábado para darles el tiempo. El sábado yo puedo ingresar notas. ¿sí? Ok. Actualizar por lo menos la sección 1. Ok. Very good. I'll see you uh, tomorrow. Have a great night. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Thank bye. you. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Hello, Rina. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Thank you. Good, good. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> good. I'm happy to see you here in, in this class, you know, because you, you started the first level with me, right? Remember? ¿Verdad? Empezar, yes. Empezaron el módulo 1 conmigo, ¿sí? Ajá, uh -huh. sí. So, me alegro mucho aquí verlos. Aquí están, aquí estamos. Cuesta, okay. pero aquí estamos. Okay. Very good. So, eh, ¿cómo te sientes con algún área? Eh, no sé, algo de lo que hemos visto esta semana o yes, algo um, que tienes uh -huh. pendiente, alguna duda. Ayer no pude entrar por cuestión uh -huh. de lluvia, andaba fuera de casa y vine tarde, ya no pude entrar. Entonces, okay. la clase de ayer, si quisiera 
retroalimentar porque no pude ver el video tampoco. Ok, ok. Um, let me share here with you. Okay, so um, yesterday we focused on the time, time expression. Okay, so here you can see some examples, right? Okay, so uh, basically we use this look, to talk about time uh, for and then a period of time. For example, I worked in Diana for seven years. Okay, so es para expresar el tiempo. Yo he trabajado por diez años ahí. Yo he trabajado por cinco años. ¿sí? So es esa expresión. ¿sí? For and then the period of time. I worked in Diana for 15 years. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And then since, and then a specific point in the past. Mm -hmm. I worked there since, since quiere decir desde. Mm -hmm. So I worked there since 2005. Mm -hmm. okay. Yo he trabajado allí desde. Desde esta fecha. Mm -hmm. And then from and to. From and to, okay, two phrases. So mm -hmm. I stayed there from January to mm -hmm. November. Es para marcar un rango de tiempo, ¿sí? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, después, viene esta frase, después, ¿sí? And then to introduce a new event. I worked in that company until 2011. Then I quit. Okay. All right. Uh, use until, okay, otra frase, until to mark the end of an activity or period of time. I worked in Panama until my project was over. So until if hasta, ¿sí? Tiene casi el mismo significado. Hasta. So ya trabajé allí hasta que se terminó el proyecto. ¿sí? I worked in Panama until. Okay. All right, so now what we can do is use this. Period, right? So, vamos a hacer tu perfil, right? So, uh, for example, eh, ¿cuánto, ¿cuánto tiempo tienes trabajando? Uh, no, en tu, en tu trabajo anterior. ¿Cuánto, cuánto tiempo estuviste ahí? Por, por siete años. Seven years, okay? So, I worked in. ¿Cómo se llamaba la empresa? Seguro del Pacífico. Ok. I worked in Seguro del Pacífico for seven years, mm -hmm. me dijiste. Ok. Yeah. There you go, right? So we have a four. Ahí está la expresión. Ok. Mm -hmm. All right. And then, eh, ¿cuándo terminaste de trabajar ahí? In, sería ahí, por la tarde, uh -huh. no sé. Bueno, eh, seven, eh, sería March 7. En uh -huh. March 7, en... Solo el, solo el mes, no me tiene que dar la fecha exacta. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. I worked, I had worked, no voy a poner el pasado, perdón. I worked uh -huh. in Seguro del Pacífico since, ah, perdón, uh -huh. since quiere decir desde. <laughs> Uh, so, ¿cuál fue, ¿cuándo iniciaste? Yes, uh -huh. um, 
2000, uh, 2000, quiero ver, 2014. Okay. Very good. I worked in Seguro del Pacifico, Pacifico since 2014. Very good, very good. Okay, now let's use from and to. I stayed there, hablando de Seguro del Pacifico. I stayed there, me quedé allí. I stayed there from. ¿Cuándo from, iniciaste? From. From. Uh, 2014. Ok. ¿Qué va después? Uh, 2021. Okay. I stayed there from 2014 to 2021. No te escucho muy bien. Hay mucho ruido. Okay. No, sorry. Okay. Um, thousand, 2014. Uh -huh. 2000. Uh, 21, 20, 20, 21. 20, 21. Ah, 2021. Or, wait, let's see, 2021. Ah, 2021. 2021. Okay. All right, then it's used to talk about, what did you do after that? Then, Mm -hmm. Then I work. I work in be safe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Until, Then I work. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Until two thousand twenty one. Uh, um, 2021, my, um, estamos hablando de, estamos en mayo, um, February. Okay, okay, very good. Until February. Yeah. 2021, okay. Very good, so ahí están nuestras frases. Ah, nos falta una más, until. Yeah, until. Okay, so. Um, podemos usar, I worked uh, mm -hmm. in be safe mm -hmm. until, ¿cuándo dejaste de, de terminar? ¿Cuándo se terminó ese periodo? Um, uh, May, May 2. May 2nd. May. Ah, May 2nd. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Okay. I worked in Be Safe until May 2nd. Okay. Very good. So, las frases are uh, since, for, since, and then here, mm -hmm. para marcar un, un rango de tiempo, from mm -hmm. and to. Mm -hmm. I worked, I worked in Be Safe, se me olvidó, in, I worked in Be Safe uh -huh. until 2021. I worked in Be Safe until May. Mm -hmm. Okay, ah, y también la frase then, sorry. Esta. Then, mm -hmm. para decir después. Then, okay, y después okay. lo que hicimos es usar esto para describir nuestro historial laboral. Ah, okay. Eso es lo que hicimos. Lo mismo que hicimos ahora prácticamente. Uh -huh. Yo por uh -huh. eso re, yo siempre repaso uh -huh. al inicio de la clase lo que hicimos en la clase anterior, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Como para reforzar. Eh, uh -huh. Entonces, eso está acá. Uh -huh. okay. Si no había aterrizado bien, porque no pude hacer el force. Bueno, sin, strong, then y el on. Eh, aquí está la foto que les puse, ¿sí? 
Entonces puse un ejemplo para que ustedes lo puedan explicar. ¿sí? So, uh -huh. si, eh, si, digamos que este sería tu laboral, tu historial laboral. ¿sí? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo lo presentarías? I, I work, um, I work uh, for Fidelco, uh -huh. El Salvador, uh -huh. from, from, from 2001 uh -huh. Uh -huh. to 2005. Two. Uh, two thousand. Uh, two thousand. Mm -hmm. From okay. two. That's the. Ah, from two. From two. From ah, uh, from two thousand five. All right. I uh, worked in the telco. I, Listen, I worked in the telco. I work. From two thousand. Ah, uh, I two. work in the telco. Mm hmm. From 2000. Uh -huh. mm. From two. Okay. From I two. work. Mm -hmm. I work in the Delta from 2002, 2001 to 2005. I. Uh, then right, de, después nos pusimos a describir esto ¿sí? uh -huh. en el pasado ok, okay. So, por cuestión de tiempo este, mira, es, prácticamente esto es lo que hicimos ¿sí? usar las expresiones uh -huh. de tiempo ¿eh? y de poder usar las palabras cuáles son las que aprendimos from to uh, since uh -huh. uh, since uh, until Then, four. Ahí está. Mm -hmm. okay. ya, ya usaste una porque dice, I work for the Delta sí. company. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then, uh, I has managing, management, mm -hmm. management of sales department. Uh -huh. um, create sales of strategies for the company and help uh, increase sales renew. Okay. I, look, look, the only thing uh -huh. tiene que estar en el pasado, porque esto es algo que ya pasó. So, eso es lo que um, estamos viendo. Por eso no pusimos ver el pasado. Uh -huh. right? I manage, 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 manage. Uh -huh. Manage of sales department and create creating create create sale strategies for the company and help help Ops. help help with the team. increase sales renew. Okay. Help. Sí. En help. la parte la parte de pronunciación es lo que vimos también, ¿verdad? Porque este es, uh -huh. es lo mismo que le pasó a los demás, ¿sí? Managed es una T de pronunciación, ¿sí? Una T. Uh -huh. Created ID. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. ID, pronunciation. Uh -huh. Y después está helped. Helped es una T. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Y eso es lo que le pasó a los demás, ¿sí? No pudieron pronunciar correctamente um, esas palabras, ¿sí? Entonces, si tú no lo pronuncias correctamente, no está en el pasado. Si solo dice help, ahí se quedó en el presente. Uh -huh. Helped. Uh -huh. Helped. Created. Ahí está en el pasado. Uh -huh. Ok. okay. All right, uh -huh. so esto es lo que hicimos. Lo puedes repasar. Ahí tienes todo el material. Ok. Sí. All right. Ya yeah. tomé captura para okay. repasarlo. Ok. Very good, okay. Rina. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. okay, see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Bye.